this is just a quick tutorial to show how you can create a new community page. So this is the template that we created and it's already saved on BB Builder's templates. So to create a new page, you can just go over here and create a new page, which I already did. Um, so I'm going to the page right now. And as you can see, when you create a new page for the community, uh, the community pages, you will need to choose the Fluidish template here. Uh, this way, you can have the whole page area to work with. So to activate BB Builder, you can click on this button and this will load the page on BB Builder. And now that we have the dash page ready, uh, I'm going to import the template. This is the older template. Uh, it has the non-global sidebar. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to import the correct template. Uh, just going to do a quick overview of BB Builder. This are, these are the tools. Uh, here you can save templates, duplicate layouts, the, you can do a preview, and you can see a log of modifications here. You can go back to a different point where the page had a different design or look. You can go back on this button here. It's really useful. These are just changes for the BB Builder UI and these are CSS and JavaScript settings. So these are the modules and these, these are the tools that make the design, uh, the rows, the, these are the elements that we need to design the pages. So to import the page, sorry, the template, you will just go to templates, then you click save templates, then you select the community template. This will replace the pages template with the community template. And this will load. So this sidebar, it is global. So if you make a change on the text uh, or on the content, this will update all of the community pages. But this content right here, it's not global. Each page will have its own. So uh, what you need to do now is just edit it. Uh, so you can change the title. You can change the photo. You don't need to do much, really. You just need to choose different elements for the modules that we already have. So these are text modules. So whenever you want to change a link, for example, on the property type links, you can just click on this pencil and you can click on this little gear and this way you don't have to deal with HTML or any kind of code. You just update the URL here and the text of the URL. And you can also search for existing content on the website, which is really useful. Uh, and this is a widget for the compact form. So if you create a new form for specific page, for example, you can just choose the form here. Um, and this is basically how it's, it works. It's really simple and easy to edit it. So just let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.